that black business owners have right now is access to capital. I mean, you can have the greatest idea. And so I, I work with companies that are large. Right. So what can somebody running for Congress do about this? Oh, I think that one, they would have to really start to work to create opportunities for banks to uh, loosen some of their guidelines in order to create opportunities for small minority businesses to access capital. I mean, that's really one of the greatest challenges. And because banks are, are really, they're tied by certain regulations, they have to meet certain criteria in order to, to uh, lend out money. A lot of black businesses, they have bad credit before they even get started, so they don't qualify. They don't have collateral, so they don't, call, they don't qualify. There are certain CDFIs, community development fin uh, financing institutions, that are really set up to try and help these small businesses who have, who don't qualify for normal loans. But uh, even then, they have limited funding, so they're only able to help really a small percentage. And the main difference between these businesses and the businesses with money is that businesses with money can make mistakes. They can test things out, try new ideas, put new products on, on, out to the market. Black businesses don't have access to capital like that, so they're very limited. They have to bootstrap and take them a lot longer. When Barack Obama first came into office, then we're going to get back to our congressional guests. Mm -hmm. There was a Wall Street bailout, wasn't that? That's correct. And Wall Street... The big bankers, the big uh, investment houses, they benefited from that Wall Street bailout, correct? Absolutely. Was that not welfare? I, th I mean, I think that if you were prepared, yeah. It was welfare. Absolutely. So white people have been getting welfare the whole damn time, including the Homestead Act, which Absolutely. was supposed to benefit everybody, but it ends up only benefiting a few. Yes. Hmm. I agree with you. And I think that what we have to do as as black business owners is one, we have to work together and we have to build up our own infrastructure so we can support each other. But we also have to market globally. Everyone else, they in a sense, you know, we're behind. So everyone else already has their infrastructure. They support their own, but also they're marketing globally. And that's a very, very important part. It has to be a dual strategy. You can't just stay focused on just this limited area here in Baltimore. We have to market globally. We have to use the Internet. We have